I'll start with something music. The prom was Saturday, Saturday night, and I wanted one picture with all the seniors. And the prom was, how long was the prom? Four, four hours? It took about four hours to get one picture. <laughs> when they arrived out of the limo, which I was watching them come out of the limo, I got to Xander and I said, all right, I want one picture. So I said, we've got everybody here. So we go to the picture. And I go, where's Vince? So Kyle says, I'll call him. So Kyle calls him about four times. And then, no Vince. So we decided to have Greg in the picture. And then we had some guy that looked like Vince. So where's the guy in the picture? Who's the guy in the picture? Is that Eric? Oh, no, I got it. He said, well, I look like this, so put me in the pictures. So then we took a picture with most of the seniors. And then, um, so we took one serious one. And then I said, all right, well, we'll take a, a funny one. So we're all sitting down, and there's guys in the back. And who was polishing my head in the picture? Are you? So when we get that picture, we'll send it home to Paris. We'll be happy to see that. And so then later on in the night, we found Vince. So I said, where were you? Kyle was calling me. He said, I don't have my phone. And he came. Oh, you know. If I call you Kevin all the time. Travis, I like Travis. I kept calling him Greg by his, or Mitch by his father's name. Greg, so it was a long night. Uh, so then we found Vince, right? So then I said, Xander, get everybody together and meet me over the group thing. He said, okay. So about half hour goes by. So I go and find Xander. I said, where, where is everybody? He goes, well, I got four of them. <laughs> so, right. so I said, meet me by the group thing. So then we started going up to the group thing and we couldn't find Vince again. So I said, where's Vince? He says, well, he's dancing. I said, somebody go get Vince. He can dance later. So they went and got him. And then they found, well, where's Booth? Well, Booth's in the bathroom. So Ian says, I'll go get him. So he runs to get Booth. And then Travis, got that right, calls Booth in the bathroom. So Booth comes up, and now we're missing Ian. So about 11.30, we finally got a picture with all the seniors. And when it's done, I'll hang it <laughs> so about two years ago, one of these guys behind me when I called him in my office and told him I was going to make a coaching change. And um, they went through a lot of adversity. And through no fault of their own, I gave them three coaches. And me. <laughs> <laughs> they're a special group. <laughs> Got along. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I mean, it's a wonderful party. You deal with them every day. <laughs> so they ended up having three coaches, three coaches in two years, one of them being my Italian bodyguard. And the growth they made in those two years, while not everybody in this room probably agreed with the uh, decisions I made, it was never about anybody in this room. It was about the people behind me. So. Like I said many times, I really don't care what people think about the decisions I made because I made them for these guys. And they came through in the last two years, and I can't tell you how special they are to me, and I can't tell you how, what a joy it was being around them. And I think the most important thing I'm going to do in the next couple of weeks is hand on their diploma.
thought the best way to honor them was to get all their jerseys and put them in a frame and give them to them. So we're going to give them their jerseys one by one. Wow. Thank you. 